Hello, welcome to this section of the Circuit Analysis Tutor. We're going to continue working with our LR uh, natural response circuits. We've got the circuit on the board here that we're going to solve a few different parts, A, B, C, and D. And so what we have in the circuit here is very common to what you might see on an exam or a quiz. We have a 100 volt source, one ohm resistor, 20 ohm, five ohm, and over on the other side of the circuit, we have a 10 millihenry inductor in parallel with a four ohm resistor. So here's the setup, but we have a switch here. This switch is normally closed, and we have an arrow indicating that at T0, our reference time that we start paying attention, the switch is open. So prior to T0, it's been closed for a long time, which now you know means at least five time constants. So many, many you know, uh, uh, seconds have passed, typically and this guy's reached steady state, then we open it at T0. And what we want to find uh, is several things, but first we're going to find what is the initial value of I. So here is the current is labeled in the circuit, flowing through this 10 millihenry inductor, and the reference direction that, we've, that it's drawn as given to you in the problem is in the up direction. So the question is, what is the initial value of I? So again, when you look at these problems, when you have a switch opening or a switch closing at some time, you need to break it up mentally and you need to see to say to yourself, what does the circuit look like when the switch is before T0? And what does the circuit look like when it's after T0? And you need to break that up mentally, draw pictures if you need to. So in this case, before the switch is open, the switch is closed. The current comes out of the 100 volt source. It's going to come up, just like it always does, out of the positive terminal. It's going to come here. Some of it's going to branch over here. Some of it's going to go through the 5 ohm. It's going to go through the switch. And when it gets to this point, since we've uh, been closed for a long time, this inductor is actually going to look like a short circuit to the source because it's just a coil of wire. So it's going to look like a wire to the source. So when the current gets here, it's going to be uh, shunted and kind of come down here and none of the currents actually going to ever make it over to the 4 ohm resistor. All right. Now one thing I want to point out to you, kind of your thought process as you, as you move along, um, whenever the switch is closed, the current is going to come out, some of it's going to circulate here, but it's going to continue through the 5 ohm and it's going to go through this inductor. So really in this leg, the current is coming around this way, which is contrary to how we've drawn the current in the circuit. Now. What I've drawn in blue here is how the problem is given to you. You can't change the direction of I. Um, you can't change the direction of I so, because it's given to you. So you suspect just by looking at the problem that when we finally find I, it should be negative because we know the current should be coming out this way and so we kind of suspect the current should be circulating contrary to what we've drawn here. So I really should end up being negative. So keep that in the back of your mind. So that's what it looks like when it's closed. We, we basically have some current going through this guy and the first question is gonna be what is the initial value, meaning what is the value of the current in this leg here through this inductor, you know, right at the time the switch opens right there when we start paying attention. Now what does the circuit look like after the switch is open? When the switch is open, we have a break here, a physical break. And even though it is connected down here, there's no return path for any current circulation at all over here anymore. So really this entire thing you can kind of cover up because you have a break there and it doesn't even apply. It's, it's connected down here, but there's no current anywhere there. So it might as well not be connected. So you really only have this inductor in parallel with this resistor. So at the moment we open the switch, the current begins, you know, doing its thing here, bleeding off, dissipating energy in the four ohm, four ohm resistor and eventually exponentially bleeding down to zero after 